All right, welcome back. Enough of that. <laughs> With the sugarless soda. Let's not die it. Let's, uh... Let's see what else I got. Fantastic Voyage and Top Gun. <sighs> it was like, what was in the 90s or the 80s or shit you would have? Airplane was a great movie. One of the nine cuts of Blade Runner. Lots of X-Files. The Andromeda Strain. Time Machine. Big into science fiction and horror and that sort of thing. At least over there. Oh, oh, is that a letter? Terry, hey man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, uh, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Uh, naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature, and writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. That sounds amazing. Uh, I've always... I've included some issues of the mag to use as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor and tell him you're my old college chum, Mike sent you. Tell him your old college chum, Mike sent you. Uh, here's the address. And just do it. Do it! Do it, fucker. It's that book Dad wrote. <laughs> the accidental savior. Uh, Class political thriller. Oh, okay. That's cool. All that writer money. <laughs> Never gonna get over that. That's the best. That's a pretty good sound for being like a small ass paper computer. Can I pull plugs? That made me laugh. Okay, I know that's not gonna go. Okay. The lamp. That seems weird. Yeah, that carry's pretty good. There you go in here. Yeah. Immediately forgotten the layout. Sir. Coupons. N insanely cleanly clipped coupons. Then immediately rubber banded. Support your manual. What? Oh, weird. Uh, oh, records. Okay. It's like a... <laughs> There's one chair. Reproductive system worksheet. She didn't hit him. Reproductive system worksheet. Six. Uh, Okay. So like... <laughs> so it's like, arrange these sentences, and uh, freaking whatever, and then she just goes off like, Fucking, she goes rogue and uh, writes a short story. <laughs> see me. Using the steam engine to be. I remember one time actually doodling the smallest thing in the border of an assignment, and I, I, the teacher actually pulled me out in the fucking in the hallway uh, to give me shit about like smaller than like like a my fingertip. Like could have easily just not noticed it. Pulls me the fuck outside. Out of class to get shitty with me because I do all those things. I'm not taking this class seriously. Fucking asshole. Somehow I always knew that someday I'd be 
Now that it's happened, Lights, I can see what it I is. Visca? Visca? Vodka? Triple distilled? I've done the best I could. 30% alcohol per volume. <laughs> and now I'm wed. What do we got in here? Dad's second book. Jackson Alfreya. Well, Daddy, I didn't know you were. I'm right here looking at you, honey. If it ain't me, it's my shadow. So it's like message from the future saving. Mr. Greenbrier wrote to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow up to The Accidental Pariah despite the low sales of The Accidental Savior. We went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It has been a pleasure working as your publisher, and we wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavors. So Dad's book, uh, first two books didn't do great. Still in Ireland. Corn neutral fruit. Handcrafted and bottled. The dad sits in here and listens, listens to stereos. World history. No. Ah, ah. Well, it's gone now. Shit. <laughs> the little bar room. Oh, there we go. Fuck tons of records. Like, and one chair. One regular chair to sit in. And, like, nothing to put your feet up, which seems joyless, because if you're going to sit in a place and just listen to music, I feel like you should have, like, something to recline. So we're piecing together. I don't know what we're piecing together. Dad is a writer. Dad's books didn't do well. Yeah. Only roll the two. What do we got here? Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. Uh, okay. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. I'm losing my freaking microphone and my headset because I had to stand up kind of far but I can drive you home too so hopefully that's fine right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to and we can meet in the parking lot after six Samantha uh, see you there and I'm gonna kick your butt get ready so you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men mm. yeah turns out it applies to Street Fighter too at least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-eleven and ask for a turn but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. You don't ask for a turn. So after I was finished getting my down. butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was shit. when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. Oh. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. Lipstick. She's coming over tomorrow. <laughs> wow. Well, that's locked. Cool. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad. The attic. Hmm. You don't ask for a turn. You put your quarters down. I got next. Shame on you. You, you ruined it. Suspension of disbelief destroyed. 
I'm sure it's fine. Did I go in here? Oh yeah, I did. Pause it. Leave all the lights on. Look at all those records. This family can afford it. $200 electric bill. What's over here? Closets in every room. There's an ID on there. Senior conservationist. Okay, so she's in the forestry service. Mom's in the forestry service. And, uh, what did. I don't know. What a made up family. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize to all the families out there where it's an author dad and a uh, forest ranger mom. And, uh, the poor children who have to live up to that. The daughter that gets to go to Europe by herself at, uh, hold on, it's 95. So you're six years older than I am. Okay, so yeah. Well, okay, she wasn't like, she's not like a child, but still, the 20, what, 21? Dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember a little... Uh, dorm room. Okay, a little dorm room we shared. Freshman year, uh, we were miserable, fantasizing about our dream homes. I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Looks like... Well, look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. Uh, I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. Uh, we just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Uh, has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, uh, right back soon. I miss you, Rumi, Carol. Okay. Okay, see? I'm going to complain some more. You... I don't know. I guess it opens far enough. I would not fucking put my third fucking fucking case or crammed in the corner. Hidden secrets. I don't know. I'm gonna fucking criticize this place's house. I didn't even look at those trophies. No track trophy. Uh, track of fields. Girls long jump event. First place. First place, but you got a silver trophy? What's this gold thing? First place. Uh, uh, it's 100 meter relay. Alright, cool. So wait, the the team thing... But you... That was first place, right? You got a silver cup? Huh. I don't know. I complain about everything. Shit's locked! Okay. Uh, where's the crawl space? Where's Harry Potter's room? Where's where all the albinos live? Katie's departure. Oh, Katie went to Amsterdam. Like, first thing. That's how you start a Europe, uh, European adventure. You go to fucking Amsterdam. Sam. Oh, wait, I already read this. God damn it. Pay attention. You amateur, haven't you ever like freaking ruffled through someone else's house before? What? That's kind of weird. Thing. And then like you go up, and instead of like being like an open hall, it's like a kind of almost like a split level room. And then there's a hallway. That's. I'm not an architect, but it feels a little funny to me. 
Control burn schedule for Boone County. Addition removing dead and overgrown vegetation that could lead to wildfires and drier months. The operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel involved, said senior conservationist Janice Greenbrier. Smoke will likely linger in the area through the following weekend. What? It, what? I'm sorry? That must be a window? Yeah, I did. What the? This house is weird. So there's like the entry room and the front door, and then there's a bunch of stuff way over there, way over there, but then it just, like you go upstairs and there's nothing over all that stuff over there. Nothing. Say couples, couples counseling, couples bowling. Okay, uh, couples bowling, ballroom dancing, cooking class. Take apron. Uh, bowling's canceled. Cooking class, cooking class, cooking class. Cook the big meal for Terry and Sam. Why don't you go to ballroom like dancing? Like, what's happening in your house? In the upcoming for prescribed burn operation, a ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock National Forest. Effective 9294. Please see attached personnel file. First thing after transfer eh, supervision personnel. Duration of transfer will be based upon performance of the evaluation as well as the recommendation of the officer. Uh, we found that. So they transfer someone into her work. Should I assume that everything is going to turn into a shit show and there's going to be, like, infidelity happening? Is that a fucking floor grate? And you got a rug over it? That seems like a poor idea. I'm going to critique your house. I'm going to make sure... You're going to start a fire. Bratmobile. Something like that. Poor Sam. Oh, oh. Cherry bomb. Did she make you a mixtape? That's adorable. Potty mouth. Ah, oh, come on! I want to see the uh, the thing. Did that girl make you a mixtape? You're gonna like this one. Let me put that back. It's <sighs> weird hanging out with girls. Is it? Daniel was around ever since I was little, and mm -hmm. other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right i gave her the grand psycho house tour and took my revenge on super nintendo and it was like i don't know i finally found someone i feel normal around i drove her home and she gave me this tape and said you have got to listen to this i haven't stopped playing it since oh i i feel like i called that shit Infidelity. All right, what's this? Ugh, I appreciate the uh, stop leaving your damn light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. And it's like, yep. Too big concern. That's Samantha Greenberg. I'm 17 years old, and I'm therefore an independent, fully functioning human being. Debatable. Uh, the fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet we allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. That's kind of a good point, but I don't know who Sam is and how irresponsible Sam is as a 17-year-old. Um, so I don't know. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. If you trust her with a car, I don't understand why she can't go into a city. As long as she's telling people where she's going. I mean... That's a little weird. Alright, I gotta go into this room, because this is clearly like Sam's room. With the radiation area sign. Good lord, Sam, you left everything fucking on! Let me turn that off. 
the family has like stock in this company that like makes this one particular style of lamp. What's in here? <gasps> Play it. <laughs> Will it fucking glitch out when I put it in there? Sugar free, but who cares about sugar? I will not shut up about that. What the fuck? gotta be some, there it is. This is the one me and my dad are building. Oh, I wanna go for a ride one time. Is that that girl? Is that girl building a thing? I have a green barrier. Keep the fuck here. Stop one metal working and grazing. Dirty two minutes. Not a challenging assignment. Metal plaque for family portrait reasonable. Subject but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. It's acceptable leveling on edges. Show more pride in work. Um, seems like more of a creative writer. I don't know, like, stop is not a thing that they necessarily... Metal fabrication, that's not something they force on people. At least it wasn't on me. I mean, I took it because I wanted to, but... I, so I don't know why you would want to, like... What? Your room has two doors in it? Uh... That seems weird. That seems weird for a bedroom anyways. I wouldn't figure you'd wanna... What is up with the shape of this house? Like, this... This house seems weird to me. Steggy. Oh, god damn it. More combination locks. Right. It's the Trapper Keeper. It's a Bibble. Oh. Oh. Is that the super special? It's for the door. Very affectionate, nice, thoughtful, honest, and admirable. Oh, I see that. Mitten! I didn't see you. Is there a cat around here somewhere? King's Labyrinth. Wow, that's dedication. If you're still writing about Captain Allegra after, like, God knows how many years, and that shit stuck with you. Bravo. <laughs> your number. Are you going to the dance with anyone? Girls board games are fucking weird. And I don't mean like girls are weird for like if they like that shit. It just seems weird. Let's market a... Uh, I don't know. That's like gender bias shit but it's probably a thing in here. Like, I don't know. I always thought uh... I thought it was weird how like there's like certain colors on... That's a boy color. Stare at it. Would it even work on like, if it's like a printed thing? Scrutinize. Like legit. Holy shit. <laughs> Super Spitfire. You're gonna get sued, except for <laughs> Ooh, it's that one. 
Journey of Crystal. That's some cover art. It feels like a shame. Look at that chrono looking motherfucker with his headband. It seems like a shame that like that art is being used in uh <laughs> as like fake art or fake video game art. Adventures the cat. Returns. That's god awful looking. It's like Chester Cheetah. But it's not. Lightning kick, 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 kick. Was the fireball hold back the pump forward and shit? I thought Chun Li's uh, Kikogan was like freaking like a, a a half circle, like back to forward. It's called the spinning bird kick. I hate you. I hate how wrong you are about things. You don't even know me or Street Fighter. I don't know. Her goggles and her gloves and handling anything in this room. Mmm, depends on how what's going on in there. And you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. <laughs> how am I supposed to pick dinner for us? Tonight for a change. But I can just ditch out on it, probably, what time. Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? Uh, according to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle. Uh, it was... never mind. <laughs> it was adrenaline. Uh, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15 okay? Don't barf. And then... <laughs> Charles is throwing up hamburger. Alright, see you then. I don't know. I don't know if you should be ditching that, uh... Oh, alright. Seriously, this house is really oddly shaped. I really wish I could see the outside of this fucking house. I think I would pay money. To, uh oh. Oh, uh oh. Is that hair dye? Or is it like legit blood? Is that a hair dye bottle? It's hair dye. Someone's being rebellious. Red right hand. Semi permanent hair color, not tested on animals. Oh, so it's, um. Manic Panic. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. Oh, and she was looking I at me. It. Right in that moment, Ooh. I wanted to say something, but I waited. Oh. And the moment was gone. Oh. Oh. You girls are the sloppiest hair dyers. I mean, it gets places. But, uh, holy shit. Like, holy shit. I mean, for effect, so I'm like, oh no, someone killed themselves. But, like, wow. Guess that one's broken. Trying to keep in there, what's in there? Why is it broken? Mm hmm? Why can't I open the toilets? There you go. <laughs> Scrub it with your own toothbrush. Quick fix. Cinnamon. Cavity protection and black remover. Yeah. Nailed it. Ha! <laughs> the best. Oh. Oh. Someone had a laser maker. And went nuts with it. Label makers are amazing. <laughs> they make labels. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Alright, I'm gonna cut it off here. Uh, and then next time we'll uh, we'll continue searching upstairs and see if we can't find a combination for that locker and see.